All right, so we are continuing our modeling our house in Blender video series. I want to model everything in Blender, so we are going to have a couple more videos. And then we are going to come back to Unreal or try D5 Render or something. But yeah, I have my kitchen, I did it in the last video. I have my windows, I have my sofa, and I have my bed. Today I'm going to make simple bookcase with glass doors. And I like this one from Ikea. It's a very simple drawer, you probably have it. Many people have it. And it's 202 by 80 by 30. So if we open our calculator and we know that a basic book can be 30 centimeters high and our bookshelf is 2 centimeters, we can multiply 32 by 6 and it's 100. 92 and if we add 10 centimeter splint it's 202 very simple right and we have our 30 centimeters thickness and it's 26 down there because our doors are two centimeters and our back is also two centimeters very straightforward and also our doors have some profile to it it's not just a simple square profile, there's some phasing to it. We are going to recreate it. But first, let's talk about our TV, because here we have sofa, here we have our TV. So let's have some furniture under our TV, right? So I just created like 45 by 45 by 45 box. I beveled it and now I can try our arrays to see how it would look. If I multiply it along here, I can create something like this, but I'm just going to have a TV, like seven basic segments here. And now I'm just going to leave it. This will be very straightforward furniture. I will create it later. And let's go back to our bookcase. So we are in object mode. Let's create cube. It doesn't matter where it is. We are going to move it later. Let's just make it 202 but in y axis no in z axis 202 by 0.3 by 0.8 it was 80 centimeters yeah let's go to edit mode and let's start creating our bookcase smooth here Make it two centimeters thick. But it is a little thinner down there, so let's try recreating it. Let's make it like 0 0.80, 0 0.85 should be fine. Yeah, it should work. Now let's duplicate it. Let's check our top walls and move it by two. So now we can duplicate our box. So now let's just remove our big box and check this part and move it by two. So we have space for our doors and move this part also by 2 duplicate this rotate it by 90 move it here but this part I'm actually going to move back that 2 centimeters because I don't want my back wall to be visible Let's check our face orientation. It's looking fine, okay. So now we can go to creating our bookshelves. Let's move it like here. By 
move it inside. I'm actually going to hide everything except this one, so it's easier for me to navigate. And just duplicate it. Okay, I could leave it like this, but we also have to create doors. So let's create our doors. We will just duplicate this one here and rotate it. Move it closer here. Move it down, move it up. We will also fix this part. Move it back here. Yeah. Move this down. Okay, and move this wall by 40 because we want to have two doors. Let's just select it and hide everything else. So we want to decide the thickness of our door profiles. Let's say it's going to be 0 0.03 here. Point zero 0.03. Point zero one five and zero three Now we can just delete our front and back faces and create edge loops edge bridge edge loops all right let's make a cut here select our inside walls and move them by 0 0.02 Maybe it's too thick. Let's try something like 0 0.01. Yeah, I guess that's better. Okay, and if we want to make our glass window, we can just create another plane inside of it. I'm just going to skip it for now. All right, let's just duplicate this part, but first I'm going to move it by half centimeter back here. Point zero zero five. So I have some gap and let me select this, dupl duplicate it here. Oh, 
looks great to me, but we can do our final retouching and add some bevel. But first we need to apply transforms. So I'm just going to move my cursor to one of our vertex, like here, shift S, cursor to select it, okay. And now let's just apply object, apply all transforms. Now we can add our bevel. with one segment and 0 0.002 or 0 0.0015 for example it looks okay yeah I can leave 0 0.0015 and it's not that sharp anymore so we can bring back our house hide our roof and move our new furniture to our beautiful house We can remove this for a second. And we can just multiply our bookshelf Okay, it's minus one here. And we can have for bookshelves like this. But what we should also do is probably add our plinth. All right, so here is our bookshelf. If you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know how to texture it. So I'm just going to skip this part. Just check out previous video or any video before this one and you will know how to texture unwrap our UV maps so if you like this content subscribe to my channel I will be making more modeling furniture videos and see you in the next